Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. This video is specific for a spotlight theme. If you have any other theme, then you should explore shopwebsitecodes.com. I have already published different codes with different themes. So now the first step is like you should download the code. I have already added the link below in the description. You just need to click on it and you will be having a zip file with and once you are extracting it you will be getting these four files so just open documentation.txt and inside of it i have already mentioned all the steps which we are going to follow in this video we just need to copy and paste the things and that's it so the first step is like go to shopify dashboard and here we have the shopify dashboard and here you can see that i have installed spotlight theme and now you should click on these three dots click on duplicate so you just need to duplicate this theme so that later on if you have any problem you can able to restore it with the original version and then after you should click on edit code and here we have some folders and files we need to open snippets because in the first step we have mentioned like go to shopify dashboard click on themes click on edit code click on snippets and now the next step is like create new snippets which is paypal dash smart dash buttons just need to copy this complete uh, name and click on add a new snippet and paste it here and then click on done now an empty file has been created here and we need to paste the attached code inside of this file so here we have the code which is paypal with credit dash card just copy this complete code and paste it right here once you are pasting it then click on save the changes next step is like open sections open main dash card dash footer dot liquid so here we have sections scroll it down and we have main dash card dash footer dot liquid and inside of it we have to find this line of code which is uh, card dash errors so scroll it down and here we have in line number 100 and 104 just above it we have to paste a new line of code actually this line of code we were finding and just above it we are going to paste a new line of code which is this one just copy this and paste it here and once you are hovering over it it will show an arrow that is just giving us the confirmation that this snippet is valid then click on save the changes now the next step is like add your live client id of paypal in line number eight so here we have paypal dash smart dash buttons dot liquid inside of it we have line number eight we have added a live client id here so actually i have added the sandbox test client id but uh, you need to add the real live client id of your paypal account i have already uh, given the link of the video that how you can find the live client id of your paypal you just need to watch that one minute video and then you should copy and paste that uh, a live client id here but make sure that the the live client id must be inside of these double quotes all right one more thing is like you can change the store currency so if for example i have you added usd if you have euro you can add it eur and maybe if you have any other currency you can change to your currency code now the second step is like go to themes click on customize click on settings click on cart and change type of uh, card to pop-up notification or maybe page so what exactly this is saying is like we need to go to the dashboard again and here we will be having customize option and here we have settings scroll it down click on cart and here we have a drop down which is card type so we have page uh, and pop-up notification you can select one of them like page or maybe pop-up notification i am going to select page and then click on save the changes now the next step is go to assets go to cord.js and find below line of code actually this line of code we are interested to find inside of cord.js which is inside assets so go here and here you can see that we have assets scroll it down we have cord.js and inside of it you should use control f or maybe command f to uh, find this line of code and just below it we are going to put a new line of code which is this one and paste it right here actually this is a function call so click on save the changes and that's it so finally we did all the steps now we are interested to see the uh, paypal buttons on our store click on preview store and uh, here you can see that we have some products for example this one i am going to add to cart so you can see that we have all the products here and along with that we have also paypal buttons 
you can see that we have checkout we have simple paypal we have also debit or credit card so let's make sure that all the products are uh, all the product prices are coming correctly inside the paypal or not so let's click on paypal i have already logged in with my sandbox account this is for the testing purpose if you are clicking on it you can see that one winter sweater two uh, women undershirts and one new t-shirt so total price is 140 us dollars so you can see that we have total price of 140 us dollars for example i am removing this and let's see and i am also reducing this quantity so let's see the changes click on paypal and here we will be having the price and you can see that one woman undershirt and one new t-shirt with red so the total price is 65 dollars so that is correct so if your customer don't have uh, the paypal account they can directly pay using debit or credit card button just need to click on it and it will be opening a form where the customer can enter their card details billing address and shipping address and then click on pay now and it will work fine for them so the next thing is like sometime people are not interested to keep this uh, checkout button here so how we can hide this checkout button so we need to go to the uh, customize section click on uh, this drop down and here we have cart button cart page actually so the once this is loading then you should go here and here you can see that we have checkout button you just need to click on this i icon click on save and then refresh this page again now you will see that the checkout button disappeared from here if you are interested to see how it looks in your mobile view so this is how it will look in your mobile view so this is looking beautiful so one more thing is that like sometime people are not interested to keep this uh, paypal yellow button so how you can hide this uh, yellow button so i have already attached the code which is uh, this one so just need to copy this complete code and paste it in place of this code you just need to select delete it and paste the new code and then click on save so once you are refreshing this page again now you will see that the yellow button disappeared from here so sometime people are not interested to put the yellow button here so this is how you can actually remove that yellow button and only keep the debit and credit card button all right so if i am interested to undo the changes so the changes are undone and click on save and now refresh it and the yellow button will appear again so that means this is working fine now so this is how you can implement all these things in your uh, shopify store without having any knowledge of coding and stuff so if you have any problem you can ask me questions below in the comment section i will definitely help you out in that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are no new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video